Hi guys, so today, November 12th, is my two year anniversary on YouTube and I just wanted to take a moment and thank everyone, all my subscribers, for all your support and I know many of you would have preferred probably to see a tutorial but, you know, I don't have one ready for you guys. Um, I actually, very out of character, I've had this on my nails almost a full week since last Sunday this is the Nails Ink uh, Magnetic Trafalgar Square and there will be a polish in motion for this um, showing both the glossy and the matte versions but you know as much as I love blogging and doing tutorials and being a partner real life and family in particular are always going to come first for me and those of you that follow on my uh, vlog channel and on my other blog know, um, you know, what's been going on and what I've been dealing with, why I haven't, you know, been around to make tutorials and do blog posting. Um, and if you didn't know I had a vlog channel, there'll be a link down in the information box if you want to check it out and, um, you know, kind of get caught up with other parts of my life. But... I am trying to get back into the swing of things. I've been posting on my blog and I have a ton of ideas for tutorials. Um, you know, as I celebrate this anniversary and look forward to what I want to do, you know, I would really love to have time to do more requests from you guys, to do more of my own ideas that have been on my list for a while. Um, you know, I get a lot of requests for designs for short nails, and while my own nails will probably never be what most people consider short, um, I am looking at using my mom for a hand model for some tutorials, and I decided the other day that I would put up some slideshows of her nails of the day that have appeared on my blog, just to kind of give you guys some ideas so that you can see that... Um, you know, having short nails doesn't mean that you only can wear certain colors or you can't do nail art. And, you know, nail length is just all personal preference. I can't imagine my mom having long nails. At this point, I can't imagine myself having short nails. But whichever is your preference, you know, you can do beautiful things. Um, a lot of you that follow my blog know that I really love to cook. And I'm going to be posting a few cooking tutorials, which is going to be a little bit of a learning curve for me, um, just as far as taking pictures or recording in the kitchen. Um, I already have one that I just kind of need to edit together, and we'll see how that goes. I mean, the, the food turned out delicious, but um, like I said, I have a big learning curve on taking food pictures. I'm pretty good with nail pictures. And that leads me to um, my latest purchase. This is my new camera. It is a Canon PowerShot Elf 510 HS. Um, doesn't have any buttons. It's all touchscreen, so that's going to be another learning curve for me. And you know, as I turn it on here, not sure if you guys can totally see, but this thing, even though it's just like a point and shoot kind of you know handheld it's about the same size as my current camera this has 12 times optical zoom packed into it which is a lot I mean my my current camera only has three times optical zoom so I'm really looking forward to getting to know how to use that um, it shoots HD video and while it does still have some of the limitations of shooting video with a camera such as, you know, like the time limit and stuff like that. Um, I didn't want to go with a more traditional video camera because um, doing nail tutorials, I'm usually shooting in macro mode, which is for close-up shots. And cameras in general, even in their video mode, have a better macro mode than most camcorders that I'm looked at. And I also needed a new camera. I mean, I've had my current camera for about six years, and while it's done everything I've asked it to do, um, I think I'm ready to move on. So once I learn how to use that, you guys will see uh, widescreen videos, um, high definition, and the other learning curve is that I think I'm also probably going to have to learn a different editing program. So I really don't know 
how fast I'll be with learning all that and switching over. Um, I think I'll probably also need a new tripod because it's a little heavier. And my current tripod is a Gorilla Pod. It's just a little, very small, flexible tripod that I'm not sure will hold up to this heavier camera. But by the end of the year or the beginning of next year at the absolute latest, um, I'll be using that as my full-time camera. So, um, lots of good things coming. I hope you guys all stick around. Um, I hope you forgive me for being gone for a while, but if not, I mean, sorry. Like I said, this is something I really love and really enjoy, but life comes first. And I hope you guys all realize that, too. Don't get so caught up with, you know, being online and all this other stuff that you neglect your real life, because that's where, that's where the real stuff happens. So, I hope you guys stay with me for another year or two years or three years or... I, I mean, I have no intention of stopping. I can't imagine ever losing my passion for nails. And I hope you guys keep your passion and your interest for watching my tutorials. So, as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for lots of good things.